this is going to be a slow Sunday in my life. Oh, I can't talk about this on YouTube. I'm trying to hide something. If you know, you know. Don't judge me. Do not judge me, okay? So yeah, roll the intro. You can leave this in peace. Hey guys, and if you didn't know, now you know. My name is Mussy, and this is going to be a slow Sunday in my life. Okay, I just realized that the car is unlocked. And I was like, somebody could literally steal me if they wanted to. But I'm at church, so chances of that happening, no. But today is going to be a very simple day. I'm going to go grocery shopping with my dad. I'm going to go to church in a couple of minutes. What's the time, actually? It's almost 7.30, so they are about to open the doors. So I need to make this quick and snappy. I would normally go in at 7.30, quickly go to the coffee shop, get something, and then head out. But we don't have cash or the diets for the coffee shop. So, yeah. But after church, we're going to go to the car wash. I'm going to meet my dad there. And then we're going to go um, to Macro, buy some groceries. We might make dinner, not dinner, Sunday lunch. We'll see. I don't know. It depends on their mood most of the time. So, we'll just have to see with that. It's been a long weekend. Um, and actually, this was the most chill weekend I've had in a while because all i did yesterday was like edit the video that i posted which was the photo shoot vlog if you haven't seen it already i'll link it up up there if you want to see what's going on over there i thought i could multitask but i really can't i'm so bad at it oh God. another video that i'm uploading um next week but you would have seen it at this point is the life update I'm very curious to see what people think of it. But then again, you guys don't engage in the comment section. So how would I know? How would I freaking know? Guys, come on now. Let's be a community. Let's chit chat in the little comment section. Honestly, I want to have talks and stuff. Hence why I'm trying to make my vlog style a lot more interactive. I'm going to try that out for the first day today. I'm not going to say, ooh, grocery store put things in a trolley scan 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 and leave i'm gonna try and talk when i'm walking around in that grocery store which is gonna be a hassle it's gonna be a mess my dad is not gonna be there for it but i am trying to switch up my content i really am trying because i feel like i've been doing the same thing for a year uh, it's not really the vibe for me anyways right now so i'm trying to you know judge it up a bit you know okay that looks that looks cute mm. also tip for the girlies on how to put perfume on like every day when i go to school somebody's telling me i smell nice like i'll hug them and they'll be like oh my gosh you smell amazing and i'm like thank you and you know what it is i take perfume i go on one two i go tap 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 onto my other wrist you tap you don't rub i've been rubbing girl i've been rubbing and i'm like how is this perfume already gone by now mm -mm. you go tap 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 it'll last long you go a bit in the back of your ears behind your ears i found out if you put perfume on your neck it makes a wrinkle no 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 we don't do that and then i go a little bit in the back as well and then to finish off i take my vaseline right right I take perfume, I go, right, get those particles, yeah, and then I take it, I rub, 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 apply a little bit at the back right there, same here, take a bit here, rub at the back of my neck, right there, on my wrist a little bit, rub it in, and then tap, rub it in, and then tap. And then ta-da, boom, boom, boom. I smell great. And everyone is going to tell me that I smell great. And yeah, um, I just want to show my jacket. It's so cute. It's like a D in the front. Not for my name, but 
Um, oh, I don't think you guys know. My other name is D. <laughs> my parents call me Mondoza, and then they shortened it to Doza, and then Doza got shortened to D, and now they just call me D. But it's not for D, it's just D for daughters because we are daughters of Christ. And it's really cute. It's like this really cute jacket. My mom bought it for me. And I was like, oh my gosh, Mumsy, love you so much. And then I want to show the back. It looks like that. Can you see that? Are you seeing that? Are you seeing how gorgeous it is? It says holy in the back, if you're wondering what that word is. But it is absolutely stunning. Oh, I can't talk about this on YouTube. I'm trying to hide something. If you know, you know. Don't judge me. Do not judge me, okay? It is what it is. I'm just the girl in a world, okay? Alrighty, so I am ready to head into church now. Um, I really am, honestly. I don't know. I feel like I'm just trying to delay the inevitable. Actually, no, I'm not. I need to do mascara as well. Give me two seconds. <laughs> okay i feel like the people at the car park are always like what is this chick doing in her car doing her makeup when she gets to church um sorry about the particles but i'm gonna head into church i'm not gonna lie at church specifically i don't think i'm gonna vlog i just get so nervous when i walk into church and i just want to focus on church itself but everyone else is so confident they're there taking videos of the you know the area and i'm like i've been going to this church since the day i was born i basically know a good majority of people well actually i would know a good majority of people but i went to boarding school and then i came back to church and like it was a brand new crowd of people and i'm like where did y'all come from where did y'all actually come from but that's okay um i'm gonna head in now i'm gonna grab a seat hopefully a nice one i usually like sitting in the front but i'm not gonna lie the front has been giving me the nerves recently so i'm just gonna sit wherever they let me sit and then i'm gonna enjoy the service enjoy the sermon and yeah i'm gonna go now um i don't know where the key is for the car shoot darn it messy you had one job okay never mind it was in my bag <laughs> well let's go to church and we'll see how this vlogging situation turns out we'll see we'll see church church was amazing church was great um i'm gonna try and be brave today and see if i can vlog my mom and tell her it's for youtube um my parents don't know that i like do youtube like that like they always tell me about it they're like why don't you start a youtube don't people make money through youtube blah 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 blah, blah. and i'm like listen i do have one i'm just not consistent with it which is a lie because i've been consistent for like the past seven eight weeks now i actually was going to talk to her about an appointment um i haven't discussed this actually but i am planning on starting to go to therapy which is a thing <laughs> that people do um just you know mental health and stuff um yeah <laughs> i don't know it's weird to talk about this because i don't know every time i vlog and i have these mental checkups i'm always in a good state of mind even now i'm doing great <sighs> lies i'm not doing great um most of the time i'm doing great but then this time around recently it's been very difficult to the point where it stopped my workflow i couldn't get work done i couldn't vlog i didn't want to vlog i didn't want to do anything like that month when i disappeared off of youtube this year 
I just had no lack of motivation whatsoever. Like, I just had no motivation at all to pick up a camera and be on some. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And I did so many fun things during that month, but it all felt like I did nothing, you know? I'm just starting to lose the motivation to find joy in life, which is weird, but um, church was great. It really helped. And he had a message about financial, not financial planning, what can I say? like how to be more wise with, with how we make financial decisions and why we should tithe and what's the whole surrounding are about that and um just a general sense because i've been tithing ever since my parents started giving me like since i got a bank account and my dad started giving me like a monthly income i was like i'm gonna start tithing and just see how that goes and i don't want to say i haven't seen results because i've been so abundantly blessed Nah, I can't lie, I have been. It's one of those things where like I just don't keep track of my blessings, which I don't know if I'm supposed to do. Like it's weird. But last year definitely saw the results. I gotta to go to freaking America, which was insane. So can't can't that one out. Um this year I've just had great luck, I will say. Like I thought my career stuff would only start taking off when I get to like say third year but second year has definitely been pushing me in the right direction there's a few things that are in the talks they aren't actually foolproof yet but amazing things have been happening for my friends i will say they've been getting amazing opportunities and a lot of great stuff has just been happening for people in my life or in my own personal life which i'm grateful for and this is all like recent stuff like recent 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 stuff so this sermon came just in time to give me that motivation to not stop tithing because it's one of those things where it's like I tithe and I tithe but is anything really happening but then you forget about the small things like you could die at any moment I'm the most reckless driver in the world there's so many times I should have been done so at this point but I'm still here so there's just so many things that I'm grateful for so many things that I forget like wow you know this didn't just happen by chance like it actually happened because like God had a plan everything is coming through everything is pouring out good things are happening in the world and i can't afford to just take it as a coincidence or it's just good faith good luck it's just good luck happening coming through and uh, it's all in good faith and good hearts and in good prayer and tithing and yeah that's me i'm super excited super jolted to get this year started I don't know where my mother is. I'm just gonna wait for her until she's ready to go. I'm hoping she'll buy us food, honestly. <laughs> I'm so broke that I would have gotten myself a coffee and a cheese twist. That's what I always get. I get a cafe, they call it a cafe mocha at school, but here they call it a mochaccino, but it's the same thing. It's like a hot chocolate and cappuccino mixed together. Splendorous, splendorous treat, that one. It's so good. And yeah, that's what. I would normally get and a cheese twist which is like it's the same pastry as the croissants but then they twist it and they put cheese in it oh that is a savory goodness on a whole nother level and they warm it up for you divine absolutely divine Breakfast for lunch. I had lunch for breakfast. 
I had lick first, yeah. My parents left me alone. I don't know what to do now. Oh boy. People are probably staring at me like I'm so weird. <laughs> because I'm standing with the camera. I get myself talking to myself, but yeah. That's the life of a YouTuber. Deal with it. We don't eat fish fingers. I we don't know how to cook fish fingers. That's the problem. Yeah. Also, what you call chicken livers? I don't remember the last time we ate chicken livers on this <laughs> No, it's just ox liver. Chicken liver is fine. Oh my gosh, guys, I think it's so stressful. Like my mom and dad make it look so easy, but when we're on a time crunch, it's not that easy. It is not that easy. Wait, the coffee is on special. You have to give up two, probably two for one ten. Yeah. I'm trying to make sure I choose one. The Romani creams. That one's nice. Very nice. And then the other one is... Again. Next one. And then we'll take two of the liquid fruit. Every place we are now. Uh, oh, the creme de liquid fruit is very nice. Did you get breakfast punch? I'm gonna have fans. Yeah. Like, Taste it's of the tropical, tropical one. Breakfast punch is no longer. Yeah. Nee, I would rather get two tropicals <laughs> two, <laughs> and yeah. leave the breakfast punch. <laughs> Pringles are never on special. Or is it this? Oh, they're here. Oh, they're here. Alright. Buy any three. three. But this is the long one. They don't have this size. The short ones, they're very expensive regardless so of what size you can take those you buy. And I only buy salt and vinegar, sorry. There's no other flavor that matters. I'm probably a opinion, sorry. Okay. Yeah. Oh, two of those. This was supposed to be a very quick, very short amount of groceries. That is what we are working with at the moment. It's not looking cute, but it's not looking cute at all. I don't know what's in that fridge. Aren't they, don't we still have cold drinks or no? Uh, Must I get a stone? I'm literally dying. I'm literally dying. Mm. <laughs> Shopping at Micro will be the death of me guys. It's like an Olympic sport. Like and vlogging onto it. Nah nah. Do you have cash with your twenty rounds? I don't know. Yeah, I don't have cash.
No one my age carries cash. Ish. <laughs> Nobody my age carries cash, guys. I don't know. Looks like it's their lucky day. They're getting off FT. But I can't, guys. I don't want to get to that point of wealthiness where I can tip people for three bucks. Imagine. Competition and try your luck. Check the competition, what? Eh? They just want to get your details so that they can call you to come and buy when they have special. Mother, mother. Feeling up the street, and feeling my heart beat no more, but I found my melody. I'll take one more, please. Yeah. Like Henry is too hairy. Now I'm chasing a little bag, now no Burberry. Yo, it ain't too. 